Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 70 of my lower league management playthrough in Football Manager 2016 with FC United. First up here, George Grant, his manager, wants an improved deal for him. Oh, you have to say it's deserved. You can't say it's undeserved. Arguably, he's our best player as well. We'll go in for the offer and we'll negotiate a little bit here. Oh, we can't really afford to pay too much like, for agent and loyalty bonuses, like agent fee, loyalty bonuses, uh, maybe put 1k, that's like decreasing it a lot, even loyalty bonus 1k, and wage, maybe down to 9 to 5 per week, goal bonus, he doesn't, sc he does score a good amount, oh, I don't know, I'll put that up to 140, uh, team of the year, oh, there's a good chance he's actually going to reach that. So, yeah, he'll get that this season if he continues to dominate. Unused sub, uh, more often than not, he starts. Uh, relegation release clause, I'll put that zero. Like the lower you put that, the more chance of accepting because they want to leave if you get relegated, um, of course. Uh, anything else? Uh, team of the year, maybe I'll add international cap, but... Eventually, I'm going to get to that stage where I can't, not not I can't, but I wouldn't really, well, maybe I would still put them in, but there's a chance of them actually playing for the national team, almost getting to that stage with a couple of uh, other players. But anyway, uh, we'll try and get, may, I think I might have to go to 950 per week and it still might not get accepted. Yeah, the loyalty bonus agent fees and even wage rises, which I don't really like having and yeah, avoid relegation. We'll take that off. Maybe yeah, team of the year, but we'll put it a bit lower. Maybe seven fifty, agent fee for maybe two k. I don't want to be yeah putting in more than that. And loyalty bonus maybe one point five, nine fifty per week. Suggest terms. Yeah, it's it's a big deal. He's a key player, so we tie him down for three years. You might think that is a big contract, but you probably can't see us getting or. Oh, to the championship, we'll say, but I, th I think within that time, yeah, I would want to get promoted to the championship, but we just got to see how it goes. Like for me, he'll be good enough for League One. If we go to his reports, he's already a decent player for League One. I say already; it's not like he's going to get better as a player because he's 26. May get some mental improvements, but I think he could compete in League One with good players around him. So yeah, hopefully uh, he could help us get consecutive promotions because I absolutely love him at the minute what he's doing for FC United. So there we go. Grant gets reward for fine form. He accepts the deal a contract for three more seasons. He's going down right now in training, but he should be all good. And there's something i got to let you know as well. We'll just uh, go to the match we're playing, uh, which is today. It is against Crew. It's the only game I'm going to be playing in this episode. I've experimented with recording every single game in both this and my Lazio series. But when I record three games in an episode, it just it takes so much time uh, for me to record it. Like it's over an hour actually recording time. And then also to edit. It just, yeah, I don't upload. I, I don't mind if the videos take long to edit. It's just uh, how regular the videos are. So... Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go back to playing more off-camera uh, in this save. It just, yeah, to progress through the series and just the save in general because I've been dropping off that kind of ever since I've started recording more in this series. So, yeah, I just thought uh, I would be able to do that. But, yeah, at the minute, uh, a bit busy uh, with life, as you uh, would know. But, anyway, I'm just going to head into this game. I'm only going to play a single game in this episode, like I said, so drop a like if you would you know, support that idea, but even though it's it's almost our only choice for me if you want to see consistent videos, uh, because yeah, I just don't have the time to record uh, three games in one episode. As I said, that almost takes uh, over an hour sometimes, depends if there's yeah other stuff um, I'm doing, uh, opposed to just playing the games or uh, just checking out um, other stuff in the save. But we are going to head on into the game right away with the starting 11. Hopefully, we'll be able to get the job done. Simon Thompson, I'm leaving out for a little bit because of poor recent form. John A. Gordon being our best striker uh, as a whole this season, I think. So hopefully, he can put in another good performance and score for us. Guys, we need to have a big game here today. We do need to get back on track. But can we? Can we get back on track 
is the main question here. You look at our starting 11, it's a strong 11, isn't it? I really like our goalkeeper as well, being consistent this season, but now it's Burke to George Grant with the new contract, playing with some confidence, but he always does, to be fair. Moore puts in the cross, Stanley finds Burke, and Burke finds the goal. That's his sixth of the season. He's hitting some form. He didn't start too crash hot. Not He didn't really do poorly, but he was just finding his feet uh, at a new club. And we score with our first opportunity. Was a clear-cut chance as well. Good to create just, uh, obviously score a goal, but to create actually a clear-cut chance early in the game, uh, that is a very good to see in not the best conditions uh, with the rain coming down. Burke Pretty smooth finish. Goalkeeper had no chance at all. Okay, throw in here for Dimitriou. He finds Stanley. Odd oh, Grant! That's why he deserves a three-year contract. I don't want to let him leave. And that's another thing as well. Say if we do get promoted, maybe he wants to go to a better team. Maybe there's interest. I don't know. It's not like he's a player with high potential, so he won't be one of those. Like a Premier League team has interest in him. He's just really performing, so I want to hold on to him, and he could potentially be the captain for the future of FC United, uh, maybe yeah, the next few seasons. We'll just see how we go. And he plays to Burke now. Gordon, could he make it three? Harness, Harness, Burke. This is wonderful stuff. We're recovering uh, from the previous episode. We did uh, pretty poorly in some games, but this is a bit better, boys. This is the FC United uh, we've come to really know in the last couple seasons. Harness whipping that in, and Burke, he's been a very good signing, finding his feet now most definitely. Okay, here's the goal kick from Sarkic. Can we win the header here? No, it's over the top to Barnes. Barnes! And he sprays it. That could have been an important goal for them to keep him in the game. But they've had zero shots on target in this game. They've had three attempts all off target. Uh, and also a blocked shot. And one half chance there. Uh, we've had the better opportunities most definitely. Uh, but also we're taking our chances. Like three shots on target. Uh, three goals. Pretty accurate. Now it's Foreman. Stanley. Gordon. That is... Four goals in the first half. I know crew, yeah, maybe they're not having the best season, but we we are having a pretty good season. Uh, that has to be said. So maybe you can see the difference in that dominating possession. Uh, we're not really dominating shots. Uh, we've created a good amount this half. It's not like we've created so many, but we've took a lot of them. That's really good to see. How about Jack Stanley with three assists? The hat trick of assists in the first half. That's absolutely amazing. Only a low knee, of course, but probably the first time where his 18 passing has really been reflected as a world-class attribute, like being at, like feeling like 18 with three assists in one half. That's what I'd be expecting from him all the time <laughs> with that kind of attribute. I just got to praise the team passionately. Yeah, I'm not going to say don't get complacent. Exactly. Every single player looked extremely delighted. So we should be able to go on with the job in the second half now. Foster with the goal kick. It's a throw in now. Can we go for five early in the second half? We give away the ball though. We get it back. Harness now. Harness. Who is he going to play it to? Plays it to Grant once more. Getting on the ball today, and Gordon makes it a five-star performance, and that's his 10th goal of the season on the 50th minute here today. Five shots on target and five goals. How accurate is that? Burke shows you he can finish, and also he can find a man, and that was a class header from Gordon. And because he's got a bit of potential in him, even though he's 24 years old, he can still progress and improve. And thinking about it now, this has probably been our most complete game we have played in this save so far. That's that, I'm going to call it. I'm not sure if you remember any better ones, but yeah, for me, it's been the most complete game uh, I have witnessed and I've managed with FC United. What a victory, because every player really played his part. That's why it wasn't just one guy standing out. It was the whole team playing amazingly. I'm really, really happy with that. As we are top of the table now, one point clear of Southend. They also had a very good win away from home, 3-0 against Grimsby. 
But again, uh, we had a very, very impressive performance. Hopefully, we can get on a good run now. And that's what I mean by a complete performance. It wasn't just an, a dominating attacking performance. We only had 10 shots in total. Usually, when you win by 5-0 or something, you have like over 20 or over 25, almost 30. But we restricted crew to zero shots on target on their home grounds. And I was really impressed with that. So, we'll leave the match now after a fantastic performance. So guys, that was a nice little episode for you guys compared to my general football manager episodes with three games and yeah, probably around 30 minutes, 25 to 30 minutes. And I think that's what I'm going to do for this series from now on, unless I have two really big games. Like for example, I'm going to play this Northampton one off camera and then I'm going to do FA Cup. So it's another one game uh, and that will be mostly how I'll be doing them uh, from now. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that because that will mean more videos and more progression in the series. So that will be, yeah, best of both worlds. More videos and more progression of the actual save. So hope you guys understand that and I'll see you guys next time.